This is a brand new turbocharged mini four-cylinder engine that just showed up from Engine DIY. I want to open it up and show it to everybody. It's a GS-D6S. This thing runs on gas. I haven't seen this yet, but wow, look at that. This thing looks massive. This is bigger than the V12 and this is a four-cylinder. Like I said in some of my previous videos, I help out some of these companies with advice. I'm not gonna make my own mini engine anytime soon, so might as well help them speed things up. And in return, they send me these engines. But I do give my honest opinions when I use them for the videos. I don't glaze anything or give them any extra credit. I just say it the way it is. I mean, this one's huge. And this is one of the things I was telling these companies is, why are you making these engines so small, like 15, 20 cc's? And it looks like they're taking my advice because this is about 36 cc's. Taking a closer look at the essential engine components, the engine comes with an external high capacity water pump, a high capacity oil pump that's integrated into the oil pan, electric brushless starter, conventional distributor setup with a CDI ignition, what looks to be a chainsaw carburetor, and legitimate dual overhead cams. That flywheel though looks pretty substantial, like I would be able to mount a clutch system or maybe mount this engine to a gearbox. That is definitely a move in the right direction. Now let's take a look at this little baby turbocharger. Ah, oh, that's pretty legit. And I did in fact talk to these companies a couple years ago about working on my own turbocharger design. That kind of looks really restrictive. That right there is definitely coming out. And I don't know that this would work at this scale. I am working on my own micro turbocharger design. This one looks like they sort of copied a full-size turbocharger and just scaled it down. But you know what happens is some of these things don't scale down very well and turbocharger is one of them. I mean, but it looks pretty cool. I don't know exactly how this turbo would mount, but it's probably gonna go something like this or like this. Just like that maybe. Look at how small that opening is. I don't see any way that this here is gonna actually work. Unless the idea is to restrict this to a point where this is not making any boost, but I think I, but I'm pretty sure I know a way around that if I could get this thing to make boost. Just like a real turbo, you got that one screw. Looks like you could change the clock position. Let's see what's inside. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I definitely have to knock that thing out. Look at how small that hole is. That seems super restrictive. Look at the difference between the hole between the size of the hole and the size of the intake, I'm popping that out right now. But check out that little tiny compressor. Man, that's pretty insane. I don't know that that design, well, that's a lot of play. That bearing has a lot of play. I don't see how that design is gonna make pressure. This thing would have to do like 500,000 RPM in order to make any sort of pressure. And I don't know that that Exhaust gas velocity would be enough to spin that up that fast, no matter how small or restrictive this is or how much energy you're capturing with that turbine wheel. It's just a matter of surface area, tip speed, and exhaust speed at that point. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments. I mean, it looks good. I'm impressed. They did a good job. I just don't know about the uh, physics or the dynamics behind this design. I think I have something better in mind. This looks pretty impressive. Well, that's the little mini four cylinder engine from Engine DIY. Overall, I think the engine looks really impressive. I'm glad to see that they went with a larger displacement versus cylinder count for this one, because once you do that, you can do a lot of things to these engines that are more commonplace on full size engines. For instance, the piston ring designs, head gaskets, and other critical components become more functional. And at that point, it becomes more of a fully functional engine and less of a novelty. I've included a link to the engine in the description below if you wanna check it out. I also included a discount code for my other channel which is not associated with this, but if you use it, you'll get 18% off anything on the site if you do buy something. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video.